Oh, it's you. Sorry, it seems I was lost in thought. I never thought it would come to pass that I should become a dancer. No, quite the contrary. After all, dance is a form of art. It expresses beauty through movement and form. I've heard of great painters choosing dance as a subject of their work, too. Then my involvement with the dance was some kind of natural... No, it was the hand of fate. Hmm. I can feel it. It's beginning to surge through me. This urge, the inspiration to dance. Such euphoria. Just like when I first held a brush. Overwhelming excitement. Overwhelming joy. Thanks. I won't disappoint you. You help me out so much on a regular basis. As this situation concerns a form of art, it's now my opportunity to be most useful. But I have just one concern. The issue of stamina. Hunger is inevitable from the physical exertion of dancing. Alas, my wallet is on a diet. I want to dance, but I doubt I can overcome starvation. Oh, whatever shall I do? You're absolutely right. I hadn't realized that. Here I can focus on my creative work, free of hunger. Marvelous. This is truly marvelous. However, the creation of art typically comes at a price. This may be a dream, but is it even right to indulge in such creations scot-free? I see. I had not considered that. In that case, I'll incorporate this conflict into my dance as well. By conquering this trial, I shall reach a new pinnacle. As an individual, and as an artist. With that said, I'll have you join me in my practice session. You wouldn't decline, would you? Hence my request. Kinda unusual for you, asking me something like that. Will you do it? Well, I guess it's fine. Yo, came to practice? Well, we were practicing. Plus, he had a request. Right? Well, since you're here, I was asking Ryuji if he would model for me, to add variation to my dance. Wait, what? No. Inspiration tends to stagnate when you only look for it within yourself. I'm hoping I can steal from Ryuji's experience on the track team. Like a legit Phantom Thief, huh? I didn't mean it in that sense. Anyway, let's get on with this model and stuff. So, what am I supposed to do? I'll invent a scenario and you'll move or pose accordingly. If any ideas cross your mind, feel free to contribute. However, don't push him too far. I don't want him to break. Uh, guys? So first, show me how you eat ramen. Huh? What? I said ramen. Oh, yeah, just act as you normally would. No need to exaggerate or make it dramatic. You don't want me to dance? Plus, it's got nothing to do with track. Inspirational opportunities will be limited if one cannot think outside the box. Hmm. Should I be more specific? What say you? Ah, I hadn't thought of that. You know, uh, I don't want to interrupt you guys, but, uh... 
think we're better off just practicing together like usual. Ah, oh, you're absolutely right. You have my thanks, Ryuji. I worried over the details and failed to see the big picture. Oh, what a fool I am. this it's hard to say oh hi there oh your timing's impeccable i want you to observe this as well yusuke came up with some new poses so he asked me for feedback if i don't accommodate the audience my moves will be mere self-gratification so i'll be striking a number of poses for each of them, I want you two to provide your insights. And don't mince words. All right. Now, let's begin. Oh. It's exactly as intended. So, what do you think? I dare say it was immaculately executed. I'm sorry, but could you do it one more time? Of course. How is it now? Uh, well, I think I feel, um, sadness from that. What? I was actually expressing anger. Oh. Could dancing be beyond my grasp? I've been focusing on the poses in which I'm most confident, but none seem to have moved you. That's not true at all. So, what else do you have? Well, it's still a work in progress, but I can do this one. So are you... Wait, is that it? Correct. What does it stir within you? Tell me your thoughts. Um, uh, well... Um... <laughs> Could you handle this? What's wrong? Please, share your opinion on my post. Ah! That's precisely my intent. I'm capturing the despair that emanates from youth. I incredible! This proves that if you put your heart into it, you can convey your thoughts to others. Very well, then. I shall continue to practice. Now, let us proceed to the next phase. This time, we'll practice charming the audience solely with our gaze. Let's just put that aside for now and practice our dancing. You too, Haru. Yep. But I'm at a bit of a loss. What's the issue? 
as I was thinking about my dance, I got carried away. I started incorporating ideas one after another, and now I'm not sure what it is I want to achieve. I see. This is a common trap for those involved in creative work. You should take the opposite approach. First and foremost, meticulously narrow down your theme. When a new idea emerges, you then determine whether it's in accordance with said theme. Oftentimes, you're better off discarding ideas entirely rather than deviating from the theme. I am merely echoing what I've been taught. Narrowing down your theme. That sounds difficult. Not at all, so long as you compare it to a similar approach. For example, being thrifty. Oh, yeah, that might be pretty close in terms of limiting yourself. So, first give us an example of how you live frugally, Haru. Let's see. Frugal. When I need groceries, I go to a large warehouse store in the suburbs. I buy in bulk, like a hundred count of croissants or ten whole turkeys. One hundred count of ten turkeys? It's a bit of a hassle having to be taken there by car and whatnot. But it ends up cheaper than buying smaller amounts of groceries more often. Her analogy is quite, no, vastly different from what I had in mind. Wait, is this what you mean about narrowing down the theme? Like, I want both croissants and turkeys, but I should choose which to actually buy? Well, you could say so. But croissants or turkeys? Such a vexing decision. Then, how about this theme? Take everything I want! <laughs> Indeed, that is one way of thinking. I feel like I have a clearer picture of what I want to do. There's a solid image in my head now. Good. Then practice while that image is still vivid, until you've grasped it firmly. I can accompany you if you'd like. Yes, thank you. Yo, what's up? Practicing? Yes, I was just about to take a break. Hey, uh, since it's just us guys in here, let me ask you. Girls dancing. Pretty hot, right? Don't tell me. Have you been leering at Futaba during her routines? Why the hell did you bring her up, man? What I'm trying to say is girls, in general, are hot when they're dancing. Why do you keep bringing up Futaba? Seriously, it's like I got shut down and I never even asked her out. Now that I think about it, Ryuji may have a point. After all, there are numerous species of birds that perform courtship dances. Perhaps an attraction to dancing women is mere natural instinct. We actually agree for once, eh, Yusuke? In that case... Wanna talk about the type of girl we like? Such a Ryuji topic. Come on, man, we're dudes! Teenage dudes! This is totally normal. Besides, taking breaks is important. <sighs> Fine. All right, since I brought it up, I'll go first. Now, this is just between us, got it? I personally prefer girls with great bods. Remarkable. Your answer didn't differ from what I expected in the slightest. Alright, next up. What's your kind of girl? There it is. A classic answer that offends absolutely no one. And now, our closer. Man. I just can't imagine what type of girl Yusuke's into. My preferred type of woman... I have none. You what? Then... Wait... Yusuke, are, are you...? Enough of your preposterous prying. 
What I meant was I'm not focused on any particular type. In other words, all women are my type. Say what? Women are most intriguing when they inspire me. Each woman has traits that set her apart from the rest. And those traits are all so splendid. Individuality is a wellspring of inspiration. Therefore, all women are my type. Yep, that's Ayusuke. you two here? Is something the matter? Eh, not really. You know how those twins said they made exact replicas of our rooms in this dream? This isn't all that cluttered. Not what I expected. Boring. Looks like I didn't need a bodyguard. I tend not to care much about things that are unrelated to painting. Painting's crazy big. If it fell over one night, you'd be crushed to death. Ooh, what do we have here? A figure? Looks kind of old and dirty. It's a jester doll crafted by an Italian artist. Uh, be careful not to handle it too rough. Oh, the arm comes off. That's a cool feature off. Odd. I don't recall it being designed that way. What? Let me see it. The arm is broken. What? Oh, what should I do? Yeah, you're right. Sorry, Nari. I'll pay for it. I would appreciate that, but are you sure? It cost me 300,000 yen. 300,000?! Well, I just had to have it as a subject for my painting. I spent all the money I won in an art contest on it. It was so important to you, and then I... I'm very sorry, Yusuke. I can't pay you right away, so please give me some time. I'll find a part-time job, and once I save enough money, I'll buy you another doll. Futaba. It's all right. All things are destined to perish sooner or later. But... In fact, I ought to thank you. Huh? I recently told him that in regard to creation, one must always pay a price. Today, I lost a doll that was dear to me. Which means, I will reap rewards in due course, the likes of which I have yet to experience. Wouldn't you agree? I knew it. <laughs> He's cool with it, but he's definitely snapped. I'll stay with Yusuke until he calms down. Leave it to me. <laughs> Art truly is a massive explosion! Now, now, Yusuke. We can talk all you want, so be a good boy and come along. Him. Oh, is something the matter? Yeah, something. We haven't seen you at practice for the longest time. We got worried and decided to come see you. I see. My sincerest apologies. Something wrong? Well, truth be told, something is worrying me. I'm actually fine with that right now, but I will ask for your assistance when the time comes. So, what's the problem? It's about my dancing. 
Watching everyone's routines has moved me greatly and provided me with such joy. Is anyone influenced at all by my own concepts? I think your style's cool, Yusuke. I appreciate that. But what's important is whether or not I'm satisfied with it. I may have become too fixated on techniques and methodology. Humans can be moved by emotion itself. How could I forget one of my earliest lessons? That's gotta be tough for you. Tell me, what's your highest priority when you're dancing? To enjoy. Hey, yeah! I'm the same way! If you and the crowd are both having fun, isn't that enough? Can it really be that simple? Then, let me ask you, Yusuke. Why do you dance? Dancing is... enjoyable. If people could derive pleasure from my own, that would be joyous indeed. Then we're all in the same boat. To be honest, everyone else's dances were so vivid, uh, I was awestruck. Perhaps it was a sense of inferiority which led me to shut myself in here. But thanks to the both of you, I came to a realization. The subject of my awe included none other than myself. How's that? This is not mere conceit, but critically endorsed self-praise. Oh, um, I don't get it. However, I won't rest on my laurels. I want to take a fresh look at my techniques. I'm going out. I must make up for the time I've wasted. W Yusuke! Hey, hold on! Thanks for coming. I finally found my answer, and I feel obliged to share it with you. It's about my mindset as an artist from this point forward. Dance is the attuning of oneself to music, allowing it to compel you to change motion constantly. It is an art that truly captivates its spectators through movement. Without music, however, dance moves can appear quite abnormal. Some may seem wistful, others even ludicrous. And then I realized, that's actually quite similar to our own selves. Things once regarded as incomplete, when brought together, shine beautifully as one. The bond between music and dance, that's just like us. How I should function as an artist, I tried to learn that through dance. But beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It may not be identifiable from a single perspective. Yes, deep indeed. As I am a mere neophyte, I feel unqualified to express an opinion on it, but... I can say this with certainty. Through my dancing here, I feel that I am one step closer to the essence of beauty. Thank you. As long as I am with you all, I shall never lose sight of myself as I walk the path of the artist in pursuit of beauty. That being said, I must share that you do an incredible job keeping the group together. Each member has a unique, strong personality. I'm sure that you have many issues to deal with. So, who causes you the most trouble? I'll keep this between ourselves. Hmm? In front of you? No one else is here besides us. Hmm. I've just received divine inspiration. I think I can make this feeling of gratitude towards you into a dance. My apologies. I know I'm the one who called you here, but I must go practice right now before this inspiration leaves me. It's showtime! 